the idea behind ADDM is to help us make better business decisions. And to, to do that, we have to answer a few questions. The, the most basic, of course, is what do I have, right? And then how is it connected? Where is it located? And then how are those, those assets being used? Those are the key questions that ADDM wants to help you respond to. So, of course, part of the ADDM functionality is to provide inventory. Now, inventory, you can get inventory from any number of places. There's, there's you know, desktop management, server management, platforms. There's all kinds of ways to capture inventory. What ADDM wants to do is it wants to go beyond that, that basic inventory, and it wants to start to capture configuration information about critical applications in your environment. We want to capture relationship information between various servers and, and software that's running on those servers and, and relationships with other servers and software that might be running and so on. And then what we want to do is we want to place those into a business context so that we can now leverage that information to make better business decisions. So most organizations that, that we deal with find themselves in, in you know, a kind of a siloed environment. And in many cases, the, the, the silos create these pools of information, pools that are available to the network operations guys, or the, the Windows server management guys, or the, the Unix people. And those pools of information while they're very useful to those individuals, they don't help us provide that bigger picture that we want to have when we're making these critical business decisions. As a result of those pools, oftentimes, and this is a Gartner statistic, 80% of unplanned downtime is caused by changes that we make in the environment. And again, as a result of those pools or those silos, Oftentimes, an organization, an average organization, is going to have to throw 14 people at a problem in order to solve that problem. So, what we want to do is we want to we want to take it to that the information to that next level. We want to provide business context, right? So we have information, we have inventory, we know what servers are in our environment, we know how they're configured, we know how much memory and how big the disk is, and so on. But we also want to know how those devices communicate with each other, what applications they support, and not only what applications are running on, but what business applications are actually being supported by those, those various pieces of software. And that's the idea behind the, the ADDM product, is to capture that information and present it in that business context. So let's talk about how ADDM functions a little bit. So ADDM is an agentless discovery product, which means you don't have to install and maintain agents across your server environment, across your data center, and so on. We have we ship the product as a virtual appliance. And what that means is it's a pre-configured VM that has an operating system installed, that has the application installed, and has the data store installed. Basically, you drop that into your environment, you make a few configuration changes, maybe add a little more memory depending on the size of your environment, maybe boost the disk space a little bit depending on the number of servers that you're going to be scanning, and you're off and running. We provide, a, 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 well, I guess the best, best way to describe it would be a product recognition library that, that encompasses somewhere close to 800 different data center class applications. When I say data center class applications, I'm talking about applications that provides services to multiple individuals. It's not like a, a Microsoft Office or you know, an Outlook or things of that nature, but certainly Exchange and WebLogic, SAP, those types of applications. So of those 800 applications, there might be a possible 32 to 35,000 different configurations depending on the the particular operating system that it's installed on, the database it might be communicating with, whether it's a, an SQL or an Oracle and so on. So we provide a very rich uh, depth and breadth of discovery capability. Now there are those instances where there are applications that are very specialized, um, maybe for a specific industry or uh, maybe even a homegrown application. If we need to, we can always define those applications within the product itself so that we can recognize those, those business services that those applications support 
and understand how to how to ac accurately capture the information associated with those applications. Part of what we do as as part of the inventory process, the initial inventory process, is we also do what we call automatic grouping. And that automatic grouping is based on the ability to observe the network connection that each of the devices has. So we'll look at the, the connections, the listening ports, who's connected to what servers, and so on, and we'll build these automatic groupings. And those automatic groupings help us provide like a, a breadcrumbs that we can follow in order to define and name these business services that we're providing. And what provenance is, is it's basically the ability to go in and look at how we built the automatic groupings, how we captured the inventory, how we captured the additional information, so that you can trust the information that you're seeing and understand how it was captured. Once we've captured the, the initial inventory, we've gone through, we've captured the connections, we also go through and we capture the, the running process. We pass all that information through a reasoning engine. What the reasoning engine is, is, is it's really an event, uh, condition, action type of an engine. What it does is it says, I found this application. The condition is, is it's a web logic instance. The action might be to go back and find out and connect to the console and pull back additional information from that web logic instance. That's what we call an iterative discovery. So we don't stop with the basic inventory. We take and we leverage that rich pattern library that we provide to know, understand how to go and pull back more in-depth information about, um, about these applications. Once we've captured all of that information, we can, we can leverage the collaborative application mapping in order to give something like, like our exchange environment a name. We call it email or whatever you want to call it. So, of course, the product is, is designed to run standalone. It can, it can fully stand on its own without integrations, as Dick mentioned, to Remedy, Remedy Force, uh, Remedy On Demand, so on. We have the ability to actively run out-of-the-box reports, view dashboards. We can do all types of analytical um, processes within the product as well as visualize the dependencies that we capture between devices. So it's not just tabular information, but we give you a way to visualize that information directly within the product. Of course, the product wouldn't be a BMC product if it didn't uh, integrate well with other, other products. So, of course, we, we support what we call continuous atrium CMDB synchronization. What that means is any time we discover something new, or something that's changed will immediately update the CMDB so that the records and your, your single source of truth within that CMDB are always accurate and up to date. We can do data filtering. So if there's data that you don't necessarily need in your CMDB or if there's sensitive data that you don't want showing up in your CMDB and being exposed to other people, we have the ability to, to apply sensitive data filters. We have an open API, and I'll show you an example of, of uh, an application that was written to leverage that open API. And of course, we can export any of this, this information or import from other sources. So it might be SQL or CSD, um, however we need to, to manage. And that helps us to enrich the data that ADDM uh, is capturing or to allow us to export this data to other, um, other data platforms so that we can, we can leverage it there. So this isn't our first time off the farm, right? So as Dick mentioned, we've been in this business for quite some time. Um, we've had um, a product in this space almost as long as that I've been at BMC. Um, this is our version 10 of the product. And basically what we've done is we've developed a product that can do larger enterprises. We can still support any size uh, environment, but we can support much larger enterprises. Uh, we're now focused on being able to not only manage public and private clouds, but also continuing to, to lower your cost or, you know, help you lower costs and improve efficiency in the organization. So what's, what's new in version 10? So in version 10, we have this, this concept called big discovery. And as I, I was mentioning before, what we have 
customers that have very, very large estates. And those, those IT estates, in many cases, need to be audited on a daily, if not weekly basis. And we need to have an engine that can perform hundreds of thousands of server scans in a given day. We've also developed uh, or, or enhanced our, our knowledge management modules. So those patterns, those 800 and some applications that I was talking about, um, those are updated on a monthly basis. When we import those updates, um, they're automatically applied and categorized, and it makes things much easier to, to find. We've enhanced it to support a mo uh, mobile platforms like iOS and, and, and uh, you know, tablet-type devices. So you can run this product from, you know, uh, from Starbucks if you have a connection into your network. Um, and we've enhanced our keyword search. We've always had a very strong search capability, but now what we have is the ability to prefix a search so that we can narrow it down to, say, just a host or just a network device or just a software application and so on. And we've also done some integration work with our, our single sign-on capability uh, just, to, just, just to keep things easier and less frustrating for our end users. So what is Big Discovery about? Big Discovery is about scanning via clusters. So ADDM now has a native capability to, to be deployed in a cluster environment. You stand up a, your first instance of the ADDM, you define that instance as your, your ADDM uh, cluster processor, your primary processor. And then subsequent ADDM uh, appliances that you, you put into the environment, you can either run them standalone or you can dynamically add them to the cluster. Data gets striped across the, the cluster, so we have some capabilities there for, um, for fault tolerance. And again, each of these clusters acts as a single appliance through a single management console. So, you know, we talk about making better business decisions. So who, who benefits from this? Well, basically the entire IT organization, whether it's your service management people being able to, to more accurately target uh, activities and, and actions and being able to, to assign uh, incidents and, and problems to the right people. And being able to minimize the risks of change, being able to, to better plan for changes in the environment and, and do that risk assessment. These are the types of, of things that your service management people can, can benefit from. Asset managers, they get a better view of the software that's actually being used in the environment, where it's being used, how critical that software is. The ability to, to optimize our hardware and software capabilities by being able to compare um, you know, hardware uh, characteristics like how much heat's being generated, how much power it's consuming, is it, a, you know, is it an old machine that needs to be, to be replaced? Is the software coming up for end of life? Again, minimizing risk, making better business decisions, understanding end of life and the support, end of extended support days can help us make better asset management decisions. And of course, having this, this holistic view of a complete business service in that context, we now have the ability to, to improve the efficiency of the operations people. We can monitor not just a, a device, but we can monitor it in context with the business service that it's supporting. We can optimize our data center assets. We can, we can understand those devices that are underperforming or, or, or aren't performing any function at all, machines that maybe should have been um, decommissioned but haven't been. So that's, these are the, the types of things that we're, we're saying that we can do with, uh, with ADDM. So, you know, don't just take my word for it. We have any number of different customers that, that are happy to, to, to give references. We've got several uh, customer references on our website at dmc.com. Uh, we can also, through Reichstar, Reichstar can um, have one of our customers um, speak to you if, if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with one of our customers. Uh, but again, this is all, you know, it's all out in the open and, and we're happy to, to make those, those opportunities available to you. So let's take a look at the product real quick. 